What's up, KFG crew, KFG Kings? It's your boy, B-Boy Fast on the TV. And tonight, I'll give you guys my WWE Raw review on Holly. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications every time I premiere a brand new video or I go live. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And let's get started. Now, we got the same thing as last week. So Monday Night Raw, I give it a 4 out of 10. That's all I got to say because we got the same thing from last week. All right, in ring segment, Riddle. Riddle says he is here with a heavy heart tonight. Randy Orton is, is his mentor. His mentor, his friend, and his dude. Um, Riddle looks like he's going to cry. Even though they have been having the time of their lives. But Randy Orton has been having a hard time. Orton's back has been in bad shape for months. And after the unification match last week, he can barely walk. Riddle says Orton knew how important that match was, so he had to try to perform. They lost last week. They lost to the Usos, and, and Riddle takes his hat off to them because they are they are a great team. Um, the fact that the Usos won the way they did wasn't right. Roman Reigns is, is a tribal piece of trash. Riddle promised to get vengeance on anyone who had anything to do what happened to to Orton. Riddle points that points at the camera and tells Orton he loves him for everything he has done for him. If Riddle is being honest, he doesn't know what the future holds for RK Bro. Um, he knows Orton is home watching, so he asks the crowd to start a RK an RK Road chant. The count the the crowd oblige. Um, as Riddle, <clears throat> I'm sorry, as as Riddle is in the ring, the Usos appear on the tron and gloss gloss about putting on putting Orton out of action. All right, so we get Riddle and the Street Profits versus Sami Zayn and the Usos. All right, this. Okay, this was a decent match. This was decent. As Sami Zayn and the and the Usos make the make the entrance, Riddle attacks them on the stage. The Street Profits joins in. Referees and officials attempt to separate everyone. After the break, order has been restored. Dawkins cr crushes Sami Zayn in the corner. Four attacks in and lands a drop kick. Riddle attacks himself in and goes straight for Jimmy and Jay. Sami Zayn attacks from behind. Focus on Riddle's injured rib. Jay tags in and Riddle fires up and allows on him with kick after kick. Fisherman suplexed by Riddle. Jay kicks out. Four tags in and lands a clothesline. Jimmy gets a blind tag and pull, pulls, the, pulls the top rope down as four hits, hits it. Four, four tumbles out, of, out to the floor. Jay super kicks Ford. The Usos mock Ford outside the ring after the break. Jimmy, Jay, and Sami Zayn are taking turns working over Ford. Ford managed to tag in Riddle. Riddle is a house of fire. Landing strike after strike, suplex after suplex. Donkins hits the ring and pulls the, pulls down the ropes for Ford to hit his Superman. I mean Superman suicide dive. Riddle drops Sami Zayn with a hangman's DDT. The Usos walk away from the match, leaving Sami Zayn to fight, fight to defend for himself. When Sami Zayn realizes what happened, Riddle hits an RKO for the win. The winner of the match, Riddle and the Street Profits. After the match, Riddle, Ford, and Dawkins all do the Randy Orton pose. Alright, let's move on. So we get the in-ring segment, Bobby Lashley. Lashley says he survived almost in a cage last week. They will be facing off one more time at Hell in a Cell. Lashley has a challenge for Omos. Omos and MVP walk out on the stage. MVP blames faulty, faulty equipment for Lashley's victory last week. Lashley tells MVP to shut up. Lashley says he wants a match tonight. And the winner will pick the stipulation for their match at Hell in the Cell. 
Since Lashley says he has Omos at the pay-per-view, he wants MVP tonight. The winner picks the stipulation at the um at hell in the at the hell in the cell. Lashley goes goes MVP into accepting the challenge. MVP and Omos surrounded the ring. Lashley knocks MVP off the apron. MVP screams screams as he and Omos walks away. So we get the Judgment Day. I mean, in ring segment, the Judgment Day. This was the, this was the same thing from last week, like I mentioned earlier. Before the match starts, Damian Priest tells everyone to rise. Damian Priest reminds us that Edge offer anyone admission to the Judgment Day if they agree to follow their mission statement. Um, Damian Priest says Edge set him and Ripley free. They aren't sheep like everyone else anymore. Demi Priest says the WWE Universe like, lacks courage. Um, Ripley has a message for Liv Morgan to start thinking for herself and forgot all about forgotten about all these idiots in the crowd. Um, save yourself like Ripley did by joining the Judgment Day. Edge says the Judgment Day is truth. The Judgment Day is power, both physical and mental. Um, Edge pitches to everyone to join him so they they can sit at his learning tree. tree. Someone will be smart enough you know, to join them. It will it be Tommaso Ciampa, Alexa Bliss, Lil Morgan. How about AJ Styles? Who knows? Maybe Styles kid kids can start calling him Uncle Edge. Now I want to see Tommaso Ciampa join. Demi Priest, Edge, and Rhea Ripley. But I kind of see AJ joining um the Judgment Day, but I don't know about Finn Balor. So I don't know about that. But I'd love to see Tommaso Chema joining Edge, Rhea Ripley, and Demi Priest, the Judgment Day. That's just my opinion. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Let's move on. All right. It says, did we get Demi Priest and Rhea Ripley? Accompanied by Edge versus AJ Styles and Liv Morgan. Now, um, I'm okay with this match. This match was okay for what it was. Um, Damian Priest works works in armbar. Styles counters into one of his own. Styles and Damian Priest trade strikes. Ripley tags in and gets in Styles' face. Morgan has to come in. When she does, Styles toss her at Ray Ripley and. She hits the around her Karana. Liv Morgan Morgan tries tries to roll up Ray Ripley, but Ripley tosses her across the ring. Morgan tries to tries a crossbody, but Ripley picks her out of the air. Ripley turns it into a delayed suplex, but Morgan counters into a backstabber. Damian Priest pulls Ripley out of the ring. Morgan lands a suicide dive on Ripley. Demi Priest charged in, but AJ Styles blasts him with a kick off the apron. Um, Ripley floors Morgan with a head kick. Delay vertical suplex by Ripley. Kick out. Uh, I mean, Morgan kick out. Styles and Priest are back in. Styles lands an elbow that sends Demi Priest out of, out of the ring. After a distraction from Rhea Ripley, Priest, Priest take control. Damian Priest hits Snake Eye on the apron as Edge nods in approval. After the break, Ripley pins Morgan with the assist from Edge. The winner of the match, Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley. After the match, Edge and Priest hit the spear sweep on Styles. Um, Edge makes Styles watch as Ripley destroys Morgan. Um, so we get King's Court. All right. The king introduces his guest tonight, Veer Mahan. Mahan stomps to the ring. King says Mahan is a man, a few words, but he wants to give him a chance to speak. King asks what is the key to his success so far in WWE. Mahan doesn't answer. King asks a few more questions, but Mahan doesn't answer. King makes a few jokes. Mahan says he he isn't here to joke. Mysterio is too busy worried about his son, uh, and that makes him weak. 
Um, Mahan asks King if, if that is fair. He smells on him. King says it's just a cheap cologging. Anyway, I'm trying to sound that word out. Anyway, Mahan says enough with the uh, jokes. Instead of telling King who he is, he'll show King. Mahan stalks King. The Mysterios hit the ring, but Mahan tosses both Mysterios all, all over outside the ring. Mahan sends both men back to the ring. Mysterios keep knocking Mahan off the apron. Mahan eventually gets frustrated and walks away. Okay. Okay, let's move on. So we get Nikki A.S.H. versus Alexa Bliss. This was a quick match. And there and Show Cyber TV said himself that Nikki Nick that Nikki um Nikki A.S.H. needs to go by tour, which no to a tour crazy form. Like like she did on like Nikki like Nikki did on NXT. I miss the old Nikki Cross. That's like I said. But anyway, this was a quick match. Bliss knocks out not knocks Nikki out of the ring. Dojo catches and coaches Nikki. Um, Alexa Bliss pulls Nikki back into the ring. Nikki double leg Bliss and lands a few shots. Um, Nikki works over Bliss. Bliss fires up, but but Nikki drives her into the corner. Nikki sits Bliss on the top rope. Nikki plays to plays to the crowd, and that gives Bliss the chance to knock her off the top. Bliss hits the twisted Bliss for the win. The winner of the match, Alexa Bliss. All right. Um, so we get mid. So we get Cody Rhodes versus the Miz. Um, this was a quick match. Uh, Miz and Miz and Cody Miz and Cody Rhodes straight strikes. Miz takes Rhodes over the over with a side headlock. Cody Rhodes counters into the counters into one of his own. Miz and Miz and Rose trade pin attempts. Rose f- f- floors Miz with a drop kick. Miz rolls out of the ring. Rose sets up a dive, but Miz cuts him off with an elbow strike. Miz dives off the top into a gut punch from from, from Rose. Miz tries a sunset flip of the corner, but Rose kicks out. Rose kicks kicks his way out of the out of the figure four. Attempt by Miz. Miz lands Rhodes out of the ring. After the break, Rhodes fires up and tries to Miz in the figure four. Miz gets to the ropes and roll out and roll out of the ring. Rhodes goes up top for a moonsault. Rhodes, Rhodes, Seth Rhodes appears out of nowhere and knocks him off the top, out of out of the floor. The referee rings the bell. The winner by disqualification, Cody Rhodes. All right, Seth Rollins and the Miz beat down on Cody Rhodes. Rollins sends um, Rhodes into the ring steps. Rhodes is clutching at his knee. Um, Rollins steals the weight belt. Um, weight belt. Cody Rhodes gave it to a young fan um, and whips Cody Rhodes with it. Um, Cody Rhodes can't stand the referee. A John helps Rose get to his feet. Get get to his feet. Cody Rose gives the belt back to the young fan. All right, so we get Chad Gable versus Ezekiel. This match was garbage. I didn't even really care about this match. This match was garbage. Ezekiel works over Gable. Otis trips Ezekiel as he hits the ropes. Gable works over Ezekiel Ezekiel's leg. Ezekiel gets his boot up as Gable tries a moonshot. Otis clubs Ezekiel. The referee ejects Otis from the ring from the ringside area. Kevin Owens sneaks into the ring and gets caught by the referee. The referee ejects Kevin Owens. Ezekiel rolls up Gable for the win. The winner of the match, Ezekiel. When I first saw Chad Gable versus Ezekiel, I changed my television set. I changed my television set because I couldn't even watch that match. And Showtime TV did the exact same thing. He was watching Boston versus Miami Heat. So I applaud Showtime TV for this. But anyway, the winner of the match is Ezekiel. I don't even care about this match. Ezekiel escapes through the crowd as Kevin Owens and Otis 
gives chase. On his grabs a mic and challenges Ezekiel to a match as hell in the cell. Even Kevin Owens was sick of this match. And I applaud Kevin Owens for this. All right, let's move on. So we get Lashley versus MVP. All right, quick match. MVP ducks and ducks and dodges Lashley. While MVP face, face a knee injury, Omos runs over Lashley with a clothesline. MVP lands a Yuka kick, Yuka Zuka kick in the corner. MVP portray, berates um, Lashley in the corner. Lashley responds with a complete shot. Lashley clotheslines MVP over the top. MVP gets slammed into the ring post. Um, MVP rolls back in the in, in the ring. Omos and Lashley fight outside the ring. Lashley gets counted out. The winner by a count out MVP. After the match, Lashley puts MVP in the hurt lock. Bianca Belair walks down to the to the ring to watch the match. So we get. Becky Lynch versus Oscar. If Becky Lynch wins, she will be added to the women's to the Raw Women's title match at Hell in a Cell. After Becky Lynch lost to Oscar, so so Becky Lynch gets another opportunity. And we already knew that Becky Lynch was gonna win. Alright. This was this main event was trash. Trash main event match right here. So Becky Lynch and Oscar Trey strikes. Becky Lynch rolls up. Oscar for a near fall. Oscar fires back. Becky Lynch tries a kick, but Oscar catches her foot and traps her version of, her version of the disarm. Um, Becky Lynch gets to the ropes. Oscar missed the PK on the apron. Becky Lynch floors Oscar after the break. Becky Lynch is working over Oscar. After a double clothesline, both women are down. Oscar fires up. Fires up and and counters a kick with a German suplex. Um, Oscar lands a sliding knee. Becky Lynch kicks out. Becky Lynch tries to dive, but Oscar, but Oscar catches her with a long blower, elm bar by Oscar. Becky Lynch escapes and goes up top. Oscar cuts her off and hits a superplex kick out by Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch kick out. Um. Oscar miss a hip attack and gets hung up in the ropes. Becky Lynch puts Oscar in the disarmor using the ropes. Becky Lynch released the hole and ends up getting hip attack off the apron. After a pop up knee, Becky Lynch lands in Belair Belair slap. Oscar tries tries a head head kick, but Becky Lynch dunks. Um, Bianca Belair gets kicked in the head. Oscar rushed back into the ring to avoid a countout. Becky Lynch rolls Oscar into a pin combination and gets and gets a three count. The winner of the match, Becky Lynch. The way that Becky Lynch won was trash. The main event, which is garbage as well. But anyway, it says never mind. I, then Monday Night Raw goes off the air. But like I said earlier. Monday Night Raw was a 4 out of 10. We got the same thing from last week. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE Raw review on Hollis, please drop a like on this video. Comment on what are your thoughts on Monday Night Raw. Subscribe to my, if you are new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications every time I premiere a brand new video or I go live on YouTube. Um, That's all I got to say from there. Also, follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And I'm going live, and I will be going live on YouTube again tomorrow. So make sure you guys be on the lookout when I go live on YouTube tomorrow. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, this your boy, B-Boy Facts Johnny TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. KFG Crew, KFG Kings, Too Sweet, too sweet. we out of here. KFG Crew, we out of here. Gang.